Hi there, I'm Kevin Jans. I'm the president of Skyway Acquisition, a former contracting officer. This video is about the proposal red team review. And the proposal red team review is something that I didn't know what it was as a contracting officer. However, once I learned, I assumed everybody was doing a proposal red team review because the idea behind a, a red team review is it's the last version, of the, it's the last review of the final proposal in its final draft form. In other words, it's not, there's a, there's a review called a white glove that's the actual vectors one after that. I think it's, it's even called the, the gold touch or something. There's lots of different versions, but basically this is the last draft. And so as a contracting officer, these are things that I assume people were doing to get the evaluator's perspective. These are done by a, an independent person, someone who's not, or someone's, who's not actually reviewed and been part of writing the proposal. We do a lot of red team reviews as former contracting officers for our clients because we're independent. We've not been watching you build this whole thing or we may have talked to you in the early stages and now we want to see what, what you have. Does it actually match what's in the RFP? Well, here are five things that, that based on just experience and understanding how these are done now that I'm on this side. The five things that are not the five things, but five things in particular that need to be considered when you're doing a red team review. The first one is, is the proposal compelling? Does it tell a story that matches what the requirement is for? And that in, in part of that is going to be read by the contracting officer. A lot of that's going to be read by the customer is does this tell a story that actually meets the requirement, right? That seems like the easier part because that's more of, but it's not, it's, it's really difficult. Looking back, the amount of time it takes as a contracting officer when I review proposals, the amount of time it takes to, to actually draft a compelling proposal, not easy. In addition, the expectation is it's going to be compliant. You're going to, you're going to have all, all of the elements are covered. You have all of the, uh, the I's are, I's are dotted and T's are crossed, et cetera, but you're going to have the clauses filled out. You're going to understand what are the things that I specifically asked for. I'll be able to make a, a compliance matrix. Yes. That's actually something the government makes as well as what they're designed for red teams to be able to say, these are the things that are in your specific proposal and you're compliant and you met them. Is it complete? Do you have all of the volumes covered? Do you have all the pieces that we asked for? Is the whole story complete? Do you have all the volumes of the story, all the chapters of the story, right? And is it consistent throughout? Do you tell the same story or do you say, we can do this here, we can do this over here? That's something as a contracting officer when I did red team reviews now, but even as a contracting officer when I was reviewing proposals, are you consistent? When you say, we're the best at this, this is, our, this is the thing we're the best at, in, in volume one, but then in volume three, you say, no, we're best at this. You can't be the best at everything. What, what are you, what are you the best at? Did you team with, at, did you team with somebody to be the best at the second thing, right? Are, are you being consistent? And this last one is don't be all icing and no cake. What I mean by that is that don't make the, the, the overall proposal. It's so pretty. It's, it's, it looks like it's been polished by an artist, but it doesn't do these other four. Right? So don't focus on making the icing look beautiful until you've actually baked some cake into it. And that metaphor sounds kind of silly, but it, you get it immediately when you think of, okay, don't make your proposal all, all icing and no cake because you've dealt with companies that are like that. You've dealt with, with people who are like that is that they're, they're very shiny and they, they sound really great, but then you look under the surface and you go, wow, this doesn't actually solve our problem. So make sure you're covering all of these pieces. And speaking of these pieces, we actually cover them in, in relative detail in one of our podcast episodes, number 396. It's about uh, what is a red team review. And if you need help navigating red team reviews, that's one of the things that we do here at Skyway. We're a bunch of former contracting officers. We do red team reviews for clients in every industry. So if you need help, go to skywayacq.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day. Oh, and today the background this time is in Michigan. This was actually up uh, visiting near a client's location. That's the one of the tributaries of Lake Superior. So FYI, I like to, to it's not just a, a zoom background. I actually took that picture. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.